What's going on, Reject Nation? Greg Alba here. John! We are going to watch a live-action fan film starring Nathan Fillion for Uncharted. This comes from Alan Ungar. Before doing that, of course, we gotta give a patron of the day shout-out. We're gonna give one today to JT, the man from Hawaii. Why? Because this guy loves gaming. And dude, we haven't talked to you in such a long time. You are the man who gets me creative. You get me brainstorming, I dude. Do you, trailers Revisited wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you. We haven't done Trailers Revisited in a long time because we haven't talked to you. I love you, man. Hope your parents are treating you well and not disciplining you too much. Can't wait to talk to you in a couple weeks, buddy. And hey, man, get out there into the Hawaiian, you know, jungles and stuff and go find some treasure of your own, you know? Good job. Live that uncharted you life. It. You made it. You made it relevant. Segway. Ooh, entertainment purposes only. I've played the Uncharted. I played the first two. I'm on the third one. I've watched you play a played lot the of the first two this year. <laughs> Some Uncharted. The ship and the junk, which mutinied against us, the river, lost the richest spoils I've ever seen. Oh man. God for drones, right? By the way, Nathan Fillion is perfect to play Nathan Drake. Yeah. I'm just, just letting you guys fully, fully support this. Damn. <laughs> Played the game, so I can. <laughs> <laughs> right. I can go, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna recognize so much context. Well, it's a fan film, so I'm sure there's gonna be a lot that's not. <laughs> Easter eggs. <laughs> 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 Treasure hunter, explorer, historian, thief. Whoa, hey, I think you have me confused with somebody else, pal. The man responsible <laughs> for finding El Dorado, Corvera, and Shambhala. Oh, then yes, okay, then yeah, that's me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> in antiquities yeah. collector held a private auction in La Paz. A rare. Item of great value was stolen. An item my employee rightfully purchased. So imagine my surprise when I find out that Nathan Drake is in town. <laughs> Sounds like quite a coincidence. <laughs> I see. Tell me. What exactly is this? That is a compass. Perhaps we can... Use it to find this fella a haircut that didn't go out in the 90s. Am I right, guys? You're <laughs> <laughs> oh, a funny guy. Huh? <laughs> oh, where is it? Look, I don't know what it is you're looking for, but I don't have it. My employer is not a man you want to cross. Hmm. You've already made him quite angry. I do tend to have that effect on people. Let's try this once more, shall we? Before I violently remove something you care deeply about. Camera cut, sorry about that. Let's just hit play again. So, does that mean that if I care deeply about you, you'll leave? <laughs> <laughs> Don't take the penis. Okay. Okay. 
We'll see how cooperative you are after a little time with El Tigre. Uh oh. El who? You getting all this? Oh yeah. Loud and clear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Familiar. Yeah, is that playing? Oh! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Making up for, for cable right. right now. Pulling up plans for the house now. Let's keep those guys busy a little longer. Easy for you to say. You're not about to get your finger removed from some fella named El Tigre. Well, I'm not He's sure that's the loud. body part they're thinking of removing. Mm -hmm. Is that El Tigre? Oh, that's El Tigre. Ernie Race Jr.? Oh, that's El Tigre? <laughs> Thank God. Guys. <laughs> Whew. Seriously. That's, you guys, you got me. You got me. I was well presented. I was scared. Have fun. Oh, no. I got those nipple chills. I know, right? Do you want to be ready to go grow up? <laughs> And then shoot it. Algunos está bien. Showed up in here. Hey, you good? Oh, yeah. Ever better. Well, it doesn't look like they're on you yet, so just get moving. Hmm? They seem pretty pissed about the bracelet. Yeah, I should have told him you have it. My face wouldn't be as sore. Keep it in nice and warm for me? Oh, yeah. Nice and toasty. Mm hmm. Hey, right here on the sort of damper on things, but what happens if those letters aren't there? Clue said the intel is solid. Got to pay top dollar for them. Hey, paid top dollar for security too. One of his love interests will show up. <laughs> It'll be the sting of the end. Oh, Sully, you really need to check out this room. Yeah, maybe on the next door. Hurry up, will you? This guy's gonna be on to you in a minute. Oh, here we go. I found Sil 
look up these letters. Ooh. <laughs> looks so this much. This guy's not messing <laughs> around. <laughs> He's got original copies digging back to the conquest of Malacca. Here we go. October 1511. That's right before they sailed back to Portugal in the Florida Lamar. Which is now sitting at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. I'm telling you, Nate. It's wild goose. Hmm. Yeah, wild Sounds goose. Sounds like solid. <laughs> yes. The most valuable lost treasure in human history. Wait a minute. He's got a whole stack of letters from Ferdinand Magellan to Albuquerque. The earliest one is dated just a few weeks after the floor sank. So? So, Magellan served under Albuquerque during the conquest, but history tells us that's the last they saw of each other. Unless... Holy shit, Sully, do you know what this means? Kid, whenever you start doing this, nobody knows what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Looks like it's gonna have to wait. They found your friends. Get the hell out of there. Did he grow a mustache really? Probably. <laughs> Steve Lang seems like he would. There's that open door. <laughs> <It's the only way>. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is so cool. This is yeah, like, man. this is the video game. Just like old oh! We need this movie! <laughs> That's cool. That's yes! <laughs> That's so cool. There she is! Yep, I told you. <laughs> you know, I always find myself amazed that you two are incapable of returning these things the way you found them. What? You got the insurance? You did get the insurance, right? I thought you did. Right. Mm. <laughs> As promised. Wow. Right? Treasure protector. So, we're going to break this open? I feel like we're always breaking things open. How about I hang on to that? Did you see this? Mystery. <gasps> oh. Well, I'll be going to hell. A triangle? Not just a triangle, it's a trinity. A trinity, oh my God, of course. When the Florida Lamar sank, it took 400 people down with it, but not Albuquerque. He was rescued by another ship called the Trindage. Portuguese for Trinity. Exactly. Now, history is spotty on who captained it, but there was another ship called the Trinidad, a Spanish flagship, famous for having been the first to sail around the world. Magellan. Holy shit. <laughs> Magellan captained the rescue ship. Look at that. Cool. Oh, neat. I think so. It never made any sense. Why would Albuquerque, considered to be one of the most brilliant military minds in history, put his treasure on the floor de la Mar, a ship that had proven itself time and time again to be unseaworthy? 
What if the reason no one has found the treasure of the Fleur de Lamar is because the treasure was never on it? It was on the Trindage. Exactly. It never sank. And Magellan and Albuquerque both knew it. So what's this then? Our next stop. Well, Philippines. I understand yeah, the weather. Philippines. 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 This time of year. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Dude. I feel like they should have put credits or something. It's over. <laughs> they did, that deserved credits. I got like an end that, stinger that noise or credits, something. Man, yeah, that yeah. was great. Dude, that was awesome. That was really well done. Yeah, so I've played the first two games. I'm have to buy part three and get a PS4 so I can play part four. I don't know if this takes place like after three or four. I don't know what happens in three or four. So I don't know exactly when the yeah, timeline of this fan, fan film takes place. But in terms of bringing Uncharted to life, they nailed it. Of course, if you up the production design, you can get crazier action scenes and go do a little bit more of like the parkour stuff that Nathan Drake's known to do. Hopping from building to building, a lot of the climbing. It's like you're not really going to get that in a fan film that is probably done for nothing. But in terms of capturing the essence of the characters nathan fillion you hear nathan oh, fillion is nathan drake you're like that's perfect casting yeah. and then you see it here he's perfect he delivers his lines like nathan drake would deliver his lines he has just the right look like maybe a little bit older than what nathan drake is in the games but he is perfect in terms of the delivery i was not expecting sully to be in this i thought it was just gonna be nathan drake taking on these guys yeah. so for sully to be in this and to get stephen lang if it's funny because nathan fillion seemed like he was doing his own thing which naturally sounds like nathan drake yeah i was gonna say once his natural charm is yeah that usurps any of the age concern at all you're just exactly. like he's got the rhythm <laughs> he's got the he's got the rhythm he's got the whole cadence for and it the charm that sort of sparkle yeah. you know yeah and you know from a guy who comes from like shows like firefly and castle you know this guy can do action sequences well and he's always got that that nathan fillion charm i feel like oh, that's yeah. just he turns that on and you can and, it, and it's exactly like nathan drake for stephen lang to be in this i thought his performance seemed like i was questioning it going did, did he play the games <laughs> like, uh, this he older did. dude just like play the games because you're doing exactly what's that how sully sounds too he probably <laughs> did his research i mean like when you could uh, probably watch the cutscenes online or something i've not played as much as you but i played a little bit i've watched you play it i think these fan films are kind of a special thing you know weirdly enough because yeah. when they work like they really capture and that whole moment where it transitions into the combat mode yeah and you're over you're first like behind him and then you go over the right shoulder it's just such a flawless transition into yeah. the action moments too Be because like, it suddenly gives you the effect of you're watching a cutscene and now you're watching the gameplay yeah, yeah. And it's like i wasn't even thinking on those terms and when it happened i, I immediately yeah. was like whoa yeah, yeah. Like, you really transcribed this really beautifully and i almost wonder if maybe 15 minutes is the ideal video game movie <laughs> and and this the script too is very uncharted like in terms of when he's picking up information the banter he's having with sully while he's reading off all the things he's kind of unfolding it's always a lot to keep up with that when i play the game i have to have it with subtitles because i'll like lose a lot of the information that nathan drake sort of spouting out about yeah. what he's un uncovering here yeah even yeah. that i was like oh cool you took the time to put some historical yeah. mystery in here and to involve yeah, yeah. figures that we are all kind of aware of well the way he he gives the expositional dialogue on it is exactly the way how it's done in the game too yeah. they don't cut around to like the past or anything it's just him spouting off into a walkie-talkie night times out of 10 <laughs> to uh, Sully or Elena or whoever a chick is at the time, usually Elena. And that was cool. I remember th I was thinking, like, is she going to show up in this? And then she shows up at the end as a cool Easter egg. I don't think they even address her by her name, no. which is neat because that's strictly for the fans. The only thing that's missing is a bigger budget. Uncharted is a game that would require a bigger budget, I think. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, this feels like just the first scene of the movie, basically. Yeah. Like what you would do for a sizzle reel. Or something that's breaking into Act 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like Here's a little the... bit after the setup, you know, but mm -hmm. right before Act 2. The main transition, yeah. Yeah. A guy who loves the first two games who was going to play the third and fourth one this year <laughs> i am i was super excited to see this and looking at this i'm like 
why 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 can't we get this over that Tom Holland thing that they have in development? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was what I was thinking too. Because this of all of them seems to be one where if this just did well, this could open a door for all totally. of them to have it. And like if Nathan Fillion showed up, Stephen like like clearly everybody wanted to do this. Yeah, they ain't making money off this. This director seems to have a good understanding of how to adapt. It's like I'm wondering would this work as a full length feature? As it's a short film, it's kind of perfect all i'm wondering now is that you know if you're to do a feature film you got to go into like you know historical landmark sites because this is like at a yeah person's home. the script is good for what this is but if you made an uncharted movie you would inevitably have to go really on an adventure yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah you would you, you really would and you would have to do yeah. your research and do your reading and all that sort of stuff in terms of a, a cool little fan film short that was amazing alan ungar Great job. Yeah. Everyone involved, great job. And it wasn't overblown. They didn't try to do more than they could handle for a short film. I yeah. thought they did just enough to the point where you're not questioning, like, uh, maybe they shouldn't have attempted this. You know, sometimes <laughs> short films do that. You're like, uh, you needed a budget to pull that off. You shouldn't have tried that. Yeah. 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 No, this was the right size, man. And even just having them all three together at the end, I mean, you spend the least time with Elena, but she's even great. Like, like everyone fits yeah. together really naturally. Yeah. And I think these fan films, when they're like this, I mean, the few I've seen, I get that they're hard to make, obviously, yeah. but it's kind of a special way to get something like this across, because i got to imagine so many fan hearts swelling Oh, right yeah, now, totally. You know? And this is amazing. And right now, as we're watching mm -hmm. this, a little over 700K views, only 255 dislikes, 54,000 likes. This this film is a success. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. This is amazing. Thank you for putting this together. You guys can subscribe to The Reject Nation. Click that notification bell, because subscribe buttons are essentially broken. And you can check us out on Patreon, where we do full-length TV show reactions and reviews, uh, weekly Q&As, music video coverage. We'd love to have you become a Patronaject today.